are live. Okay, let's see if it keeps going. Okay, so here we go. Um, it is 1, 19, 21. So it's the coordinate system, okay? So the coordinate system, they call it the coordinate system because it's basically built into four different quadrants, okay? Um, I don't know if you guys ever learned this in Algebra 1, but they call these quadrants. This quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. Did you guys ever heard of that? You guys ever learned that ever anywhere? I didn't think so. You did learn that? Good. Somebody taught you that. I'm glad to hear that because a lot of times they don't. They just miss this. I taught you that. There you go. And then right in here, that's called the origin. Okay, these are like terms that are really easy, but a lot of times teachers just don't teach this stuff, which really frustrates me, okay? What we know about points in quadrant one is that the x is positive, and so is y, right? Every, every point in quadrant one is positive, positive. Quadrant two, what we know about points in quadrant two is that the x's are negative and the y's are positive, right? We should know that. What we know about quadrant three is that the x's are negative and the y coordinates are negative. And of course, in quadrant four, we know the x values of the coordinate is positive and the y values are negative, okay? Now, the midpoint formula. So let me go ahead and just draw a line, okay? Any line. I'm going to draw a line segment, okay? And I'm going to put it down in my graph like that. I'm just going to put a line segment. So a formula has to work for every line. Does that make sense? Not just one line, but for every line. So for a formula, if we call this one endpoint, we'll call it the x1, y1. And then this is my other endpoint. We'll call that x2, y2. Not x squared, but x2, like the second x point, okay? Then the midpoint is somewhere in here, right? Well, the midpoint is just the average. So the midpoint is just the average. And we know how an average works. You add them up and divide by, in this case, 2, right? An average, add them up, divide by 2. So my midpoint formula is going to be equal to, as a point, it's an average. So it's x2 plus x1 divided by 2 comma y2 plus y1 over 2, okay? That's my midpoint formula. So we'll eventually look at an example of this and do it, okay? So the distance formula, well, they call it distance, but let's also say length, okay? And sometimes it's really confusing for kids. Like, now, I mean, honestly, the book will say, find the length, and kids will go, Mr. Davies, I don't get it. It says length. I don't have a length formula. Okay, okay. so distance and length, same thing, right? And it, I, I just I smile to myself. I don't make them feel dumb. But if it says find the length, they're basically saying distance, right? So one way the distance formula is actually derived is from Pythagorean's theorem, right? So when you see this formula, it is from Pythagorean's theorem. So the distance formula is D for distance. It's a big square root, like a gigantic square root, because if it's from Pythagorean's theorem, it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And you've just square rooted the whole thing. So it's going to be x2 minus x1 quantity squared. It's Pythagorean's theorem, really, plus a y2 minus a y1 squared, okay? Now, as an example, I'm going to do an example with you guys, okay, real quickly. Let's do an example on these two. We have that. Point A, all right. Um, Chloe, give me two numbers, any two numbers. Four and 12, I like that, okay. Uh, Faith, give me two other numbers. Six and 10, okay, there you go. Now we could graph this, right? And we could look at it, but if we just wanted the midpoint, 
only, right? You can graph it and you can try and find the midpoint, but let's just do it the fast way. Let's just use the formula, right? So Chloe gave me this point first, x1, y1, right? Faith give, gave me this point second, so let's go x2, y2, right? So if we want the midpoint for it, let's just use our... Instead of graphing, let's just get the answer by using the formula. So I would go, okay, midpoint equals x2, 6, plus x1, 4, over 2, comma, y2, 10, plus y1, 12, over 2. The midpoint is going to be 10 over 2, 22 over 2, or 5, 11. Okay, so if we were to graph these points right in the middle, the point 5, 11 is the midpoint. Okay, pretty easy. The distance, or the length, if we were to graph this and find the length, let's do that as well. Big square root. If I get going too fast, we please tell me to slow down. Okay. So I'm going to go x2, which is 6, subtract x1, which is 4 squared, plus y2, which is 10, minus y1, which is a 12 squared. So this is just going to give me the length of the distance. Okay, so I'm going to get 2 squared plus a negative 2 squared, right? And then I'm going to get square root of 4 plus 4, square root of 8. How am I doing? Too fast or okay? And then I like this answer. That's my favorite answer. You guys see what I did? 8 is 4 times 2. Hopefully you know what I've done, right? 2 squared is 2 is a better answer. If you have to give me a decimal answer, I would take it. There are times I want an exact, exact answer, but if you went the square root of 8, and you got this ugly number. That's an ugly, irrational number. I don't like that number. 2 squared of 2 is much, there you go. 2 squared of 2 is a much better answer, okay? All right, moving on. Chloe, how am I doing? Okay, don't let me go too fast, all right? Remember, I've been doing this for th over 30 years, so. So the x and y intercepts. So in a graph, your x-intercept is right here. And what I know about the x-intercept is this. The y-value is 0, right? So on the x-intercept, y-value is 0. Because it, right here it has a height of 0. The x-intercept or the y-intercept, which is right here, is where the x value is 0. Well, that comes in handy when we get to example 2. Well, it says example 1, sorry. Let's call it example 2, but it comes in handy because one of the ways you can sketch this graph is by intercepts, okay? You can sketch sketch by intercepts. So if I have a 3x plus a 2y equals 18, if the x value is 0, and back when we were freshmen, we would cover it up, right? Because it becomes 0, it covers up, right? Then what's y equal? Right, if x is 0, psh, gone, what's y equal? 9, right? So you would have a point at 
0, 9, because if x is 0, you'd have 2y equals 18, so I'd have an answer at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? And if the y value is 0, right, this becomes 0. When we're freshmen, we just covered it up and say, okay, what's x? Well, 6. You guys agree? So we'd have a point at 6, 0. Because the y was 0, there's the 0, 6, 0. So, okay. So if I connect the dots, there's my line. Now, that was pretty easy to graph, wasn't it? Super easy. Now, I like these little tricks, okay? Now, the slope. Well, one way to do the slope is just to count it. So we know that the slope is rise over run. And I can go down 9 over 6, right? Well, that's the same thing as down 3 over 2. So it must be like down 3 over 2, down 3 over 2, down 3 over 2. Okay, so that's a better reduced slope, okay? How am I doing? Easy? Easy so far, you guys? Everybody agree? Are you ready for me to turn the page? Don't let me go too fast, please, you guys. So I turn the page. Um, you don't need to do number two because we kind of did an example on number two. So we did an example here with number two. So to save time, let's move to number three, okay? Okay, number three, graph the system. Well, let's graph 2x plus 5y equals 10. Let's do it the easy way, okay? What's the easy way? Let's just cover up, okay? So let's do the other easy way is by intercepts. So if I let x equal 0, then y is 2, right? So y is 2. So I'll point at 0, 2. If y is 0, then x is 5, right? How am I doing? Isn't this an easy way to graph? Okay, the other one, if I've got my 3x plus 4y equals 12, okay, same thing. If I cover up my x, then my y is 3, so I'll have a point at 0, 3. If y is 0, then x is 4, so I'll have a point at 4, 0. Now, where do they intersect? Uh, it looks like it's about there. Now, we could guess. We could guess, right? We could say, well, I think it's about, it's about, oh, maybe three, and maybe three-fourths. But that's a guess, isn't it? That's a guess. So if we need the exact spot, we're going to do the thing by elimination. And we did this in... Algebra, we also did it in geometry, we also did it in algebra too. So, by elimination. Okay. If, and let's see if you guys remember how to do this. If I multiply this top equation by 3, and the bottom equation by negative 2, right? How's that going to help? Multiply the top equation by 3, 
bottom equation by negative 2, how's that going to help? So if this becomes 6 and this becomes negative 6, what happens? And then we can get y, right? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to rewrite this equation. So I'm going to rewrite equation 1, equation 2. So I'm going to have a 6x plus a 15y equals a 30. Negative 6x plus a 12y equals negative 24, right? If I add them together, I'll get a 27y, right? Oh, I forgot my negative. Darn it. Uh, my bad. My bad. Oh, you guys have to catch my dumb mistakes. I will make at least... Oh, yeah. Nina, I will make mistakes, won't I? Always. I hate that. Thank you, Nina. So then, I'll get a 7y equals 6, right? Divide by 7, and y equals 6, 7. Oh, see, I was close, but the actual answer wasn't 3 fourths. It was actually 6 7 wasn't it? So how to get the x? Well, if I do this all over again, and maybe I'll, because I need work, I'll do it up here. On this first time I did it, I got rid of the x's. This time, let's get rid of the y's, OK? So I eliminated the x's and got y. This time, let's eliminate the y's and get x. So I will multiply this one by a 4 and this one by a negative 5, OK? Hopefully, I won't make a dumb mistake again. I'll put the work over here so I have room. So I have a 8x plus 20y equals 40, right? I'll have a negative 15x minus 20y equals negative 60, okay? How am I doing? So then I'll have a negative 7x, cancel, cancel, equals negative 20. If I divide by negative 7, let's see, it goes in 2 times with 6 left over, so 2 and 6, 7. Okay, so here's my actual real answer. So my true answer would be a 2 and 6, 7 and 6, 7, okay? So graphing and guessing is close sometimes, and sometimes you can get the exact answer, right? But if you need the exact answer and you have to do the elimination, you can always get the exact answer. Okay, so now, homework today, you guys, and you have your worksheet, and if you, number 20 is the extra, and the extra, if you guys, so you, if, when you do homework, I'll let you go in a second, you do homework, not hard. This is easy. Come on in, you guys. Find a seat. It's Cass. Cass, have you put, you've gotten bigger. You've gotten bigger, haven't you? I know, Kai, look at Kai, too. Oh, I'm glad I got Kai. Kai is brilliant. We just got to make sure you do your homework every day, right? Yep. Is that Carly? Right. Carly, how are you? Come on in, you guys. Start off with a syllabus, you guys. Uh, uh, okay, get 
Are you going to run this year? Um, maybe. Maybe, okay. How are you doing? Okay. Um, Can you hear? Yeah. You're good. Okay. Come on in. Hi, Anna. Yeah, you're not really coming in, are you? No. Okay. Oh, you're not. I'm sorry. Uh, Hi, Hannah. Thanks. Yes. He's, done, he's almost right below me, isn't he, Sonny? He's always here. I know. Thank you. So, what do you think so far? Are you glad to be back? Yeah. yeah. I'm, sure. I'm, trying, I'm really trying to make this worth a while because I know that you guys said no on the asynchronous. You could still be asleep right now, right? You could, right? Hey guys, how are you? I'm here to you. You are? Okay, now wait, 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 wait. What do you like? So good, because I'm going to go home at lunch, okay? What? Are you in my truck? I'm going to go home at lunch. Oh, right? It's actually, I brought my car. I can bring your truck. You can, because I work at so. Okay. So can you take me home then? Yes. For lunch? Yeah. Okay. So I'll see you for it. Cool. Good. He's such a fine young man, isn't he? Mm -hmm. You don't know Landon. You should get to know Landon. Don't go for a run with Landon, though. That'd be a little yeah. big mistake. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Still recording? Oh, I didn't mean that for record.